Ah, uh, oh my. I wish I was a morning person, but I'm, I'm just not. Not yet, at least. Got quite the adventure planned today. But before any big adventure, you want to eat good food. Couple lobster tails for mini season. Gonna make some lobster omelets. And of course, have a freaking pot of coffee. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Come on out, buddy. Woo! Damn. Wow. I should be fishing today. Look at, look at, it's so beautiful. But we're actually gonna do something completely different. We have a totally different adventure in, in stock today. But I gotta eat first. I'm making us omelets. We got three scrambled eggs in here. I'm gonna dump those eggs right in there. Then we're gonna dump lobster. You know what else we're gonna put in there? A couple of cheeses. Big chunk of lobster. Omelette at number two. Oh yeah, now we're ready to go. Eating a good healthy breakfast is vital for me to make a good YouTube video. Which brings me to this video's sponsor, Magic Spoon. I've never opened this box, it arrived, and I'm about to smash it open. Carefully. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. It looks like a sunrise. Miami nights, let's party type of deal going on here. Let's see what we got. It's freaking the favorite thing of my childhood. Cereal, baby. Now the great thing about this cereal is you don't have to feel bad about eating it. There's zero grams of sugar in here and there's a lot of protein. What? Low carbs, gluten-free, grain-free, natural flavors. What else do we got here? Frosted peanut butter. Natural flavors, no artificial colors, or sweeteners. How about we try some of this? Give me some milk. Yeah, boy, I always carry milk. Oh, he needs some milk. Get that man some milk. I got my bowl, I got my milk, I got my cereal, and I got this beautiful spoon. I'm really sorry, Dan and Elizabeth, if you're watching this, because this is a serving spoon that you left at my house and I haven't returned it yet. I promise I'm not keeping it on, I just forgot to return it, and now it's in a video because it's such a nice big spoon. Y'all know Dan and Elizabeth, Florida Fishing Couple. Come on, shout out to them. We got ourselves some free, some fruity. What is it? Magic spoon, grain-free cereal. Fruity. It's just called fruit. That's the name. It's fruity. The first part about any cereal is the smell test. That smells exactly like what you would expect. Fruity. I don't want to mention other brands, but it smells exactly what I loved as a child. Leave a comment below. Do you pour the milk first or do you pour your cereal in first? I pour my cereal in first and that's how I've always done it as a small child. It smells great, it's colorful, perfect. Mmm, I'm not gonna lie, that might be the best bowl of cereal I've ever had. And I'm not even saying this because Magic Spoon sponsored this video. Hopefully I'll be lucky enough to have kids one day and this is all they're gonna eat because it, it tastes better than the other cereals and it's got zero grams of sugar. Yeah, little Timmy won't be dying from diabetes anytime soon. Mmm, I don't wanna wait. I wanna try the cocoa, because I love chocolate. Cocoa, four grams of carbs, 13 grams of protein per serving. Smell test, here we go. Yeah, that is what I wanted. That's good. Peanut butter, smell test. Oh yeah, that's peanut butter. If you wanna try this stuff and you're not sure what flavor to take, buy one of each flavor. I'm gonna leave a link to the variety pack so you can try it out yourself. And if you use my code SFFC, you get $5 off or just go to magicspoon.com forward slash SFFC. Bam, right there. It's backed up with a 100% money back guarantee. So if you don't 100% love your cereal, they'll send you your money back. No questions asked. Thank you Magic Spoon for sponsoring this video. Time to get back to my video. Right now, my buddy Lee is driving up from Summerlin Key and he's gonna meet me here in Key Largo where we're gonna hop in my car and we're gonna drive two and a half hours 
kind of north northwest to do some South Florida duck hunting. But all I know is I'm gonna have a good day today, even if I don't see a single duck. <laughs> really? I'll just grab a handful of these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So these, all that ammo should work for your gun, I think. These are really good. The boss. Those are like. Those are made for for ducks. Um. We get ready to do. A little bit of target practice, you know. Make sure we still know how to uh, shoot our. Our yeah. shotguns. We've made it out to the extreme outdoors farm. We got Ray. Yes, sir. We're here. The ducks are in the air. And the best way to start any hunting session is make sure you can hit a target. I'm putting the pressure on. Oh, goodness. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm definitely going to miss this for sure. I appreciate that. <laughs> thanks, Michael. <laughs> hey, don't worry. I'll, we'll, we'll cut this properly. No, there's no cutting. It's in it. It's in it to win it. That's yeah, what it was. that's what it was. I was there we go. Too much. It's hard uh, going away, bird. is a lot harder. Yeah, it goes. <laughs> Which way is this sucker going? <laughs> I couldn't tell you. <laughs> you gotta be a uh, yappy. Just find it. All right, make it nice and high and slow oh, for me. Ready? Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Oh goodness. Yeah. All right, I gotta get it more sideways. I get it now. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Yeah! Oh okay, I feel a lot better now. Yeehaw! I am more than ready. I'm the happiest man in the world. Up in here. Oh, hey, puppy. <laughs> hey, Ray. Yes, sir. Where are you taking us? Well, hopefully to the promised land where all the ducks are at. That's what I'm hoping for. We do have good news. We saw there is a little bit of water, so that's always a promising thing. We're gonna head back to the back of the farm where we've been having a lot of luck and hopefully Angel will be bringing us some ducks. Yeah, first time duck hunter right here. Lee, you gotta shoot a duck so she can grab it. Yeah, we gotta have our aim on target. And <laughs> Angel will have to do her part for sure. Yeah. yeah. I think her part She's is... She's waited her whole life for this. Yeah. Woo <laughs> Ready, Heiko, or what? I'm ready. You ready, Austin? Ready to go. Ready, Lee, put them yeah. down. So this is the game plan. That's where we did the video with deer meat for dinner, that area there. But as you guys can see, it is all dried up. Good news is there is a ton of water back there. We are going to head back there. We saw a bunch of ducks when we first pulled up here. We're hoping to get into the whistlers, the black bellies. What else we got? Model ducks, teal. bunch of teal. So that's kind of what we're aiming for. What are you guys aiming for? I want to get a Whistler dog for sure. Never got one. Okay, right, they're beautiful, man. What about you, Heiko? What's number one on your list? Any, any. No, I knew you were going to say any, anything that flies. <laughs> 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 no, all right, well, my number one is a wood duck. That would, yeah, wow. a wood duck would be cool. That would end the season. And of course, the old banded duck. We always want to, we would like to shoot a banded duck. Well, I guess we're going to get off. We got a little bit of walk ahead of us. You know, Angel won't feel it, but we will. 
While we're waiting for some ducks, you can see off in the distance, right there, it's kind of hard to see, but you see that tan spot? That's about a 200 pound pig. But you know who that was? That was this little piggy that I videotaped on the last hunting video with Extreme Outdoors. Ray found this little guy out in the farm. He was all alone and abandoned, and he fed him clearly back to health, because that he's a 200 pounder now. Good luck out there, little piggy. Oh, 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 come here, come here. Right, right here. The ducks are keeping their distance and staying away from us. They're behind some brush, but luckily, Ray is willing to go out there and spook them out for us. Don't step on a gator now. You gonna scare the ducks over here? Yeah. Okay. Just don't shoot what's not a duck, it's a snake. Okay. I'll aim for ducks only. Dude. Angel, yeah. you want one? You're doing your job, Angel. Get it, girl. It seems like one of those days where the ducks just don't want to fly to you. So what do you do then? You walk through the swamp to find them. <laughs> Yeah, I see him back there. No. You went to you? Oh, the little ones, not the other ones. No. Ray and Lee are gonna walk one way on the pond and look for ducks, while Austin and I are gonna go the other way. And this way we'll double our chances of maybe running into some ducks. We see a few ducks flying in the direction of Ray and Lee. We try to call them our way, but they are going to them. Looks like they shot them. We see some ducks further out in the middle of the pond, so we start walking out where it gets a little bit deeper, and the bottom is covered in this grassy stuff, and the mud is a little soft, so your feet kind of sink in, and it's hard to get a grip for a newbie like me. I think there's, is that a duck right in front of us? See him? Like, more to the right, like, uh, 
right in the grass here. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm shooting three and a half inch shells, which basically turns my shotgun into a cannon. So after the first shot, I lost my footing a little bit, and the second shot just put me right on my butt. My GoPro on my chest went fully underwater, all my ammo went underwater, and I got a good gallon or two of water into my waders. Yeehaw, baby. I fell in the water twice. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome though. Heck yeah, damn. Epic. Oh my god. Fat ones too. Fat juicy ones. You wanna hold them or you hold Oh, it doesn't matter. Just in case you fall. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I've never shot from like standing in water. Oh really? I was like the first shot knocked me back a little bit and then the second shot and I'm like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> wow that was crazy dude <gasps> i saw one drop right there that was freaking thrilling what a freaking adrenaline rush That was intense. That was some freaking. So we got eight for just from that? Yeah. Holy moly. I was like watching them fly while trying to put a round in. <laughs> I was just like. <gasps> never see that <laughs> that's a uh, the $200 camo from Bass Pro Shops right there that's it, that's it. That's it.
can't get any better camo than that. <laughs> we pick a spot and chill out, waiting for the sun to go down to see if any more ducks will fly. But the ducks never did fly until later into the night, and you can't shoot them past start. But it was still a great day. That's a great pile of ducks. I'm oh. pretty proud of that. Oh, yeah. If we do it oh, maybe this way. I'm zoomed in. Whoa! I'm gonna put it backwards. There we go. That's not. Ooh! Now we got some light. Hard to find light out here in these dark nights. Speaking of dark nights, I think this duck hunt hunt has come to an end. It has. I think a pretty good one. Damn Ray, your uh, what do you call it? Your sneaky, sneaky sneak move. <laughs> Yeah, the Mohican sneaking. Mohican sneaking. Yeah, Ray goes creeping through, gets the ducks to fly, and then we shoot them. <laughs> it works, that's for sure. You gotta get them up there when you can, you know? I mean, we had a bunch of model ducks come in, but I'll take a table full of whistlers before anything else. I love them black bellies. Uh, to me, it's yeah. the best tasting. Yeah, the yeah. best eating? Uh, honestly, it is the best eating, for sure. Ooh. And you can't find them anywhere else but Florida. Well, we're gonna be doing a really good cook session here so stay tuned for that make sure you follow extreme outdoors on youtube instagram thanks for coming dude and a pleasure man hopefully we can do one or two before the season's over we got turkey season on the rise Woo. and we need some redemption i know we're <laughs> yeah they remember <laughs> we need some yeah. turkey redemption we'll have that redemption soon we got limited black bellies so we had a blast the winds were kind of low so we had to do some mohican sneaking through the flag ponds but we got them up in the air and we dealt the business, that's for sure. We're back at the at the duck headquarters. Leo over here is already cleaning a couple duck breasts out. <whistles> We're gonna have ourselves a little feast. This is only my second season duck hunting, so I'm pretty new to this, but the way that I clean the ducks is I make a little incision on their breast. Helps to pull a couple of hairs off of the breast first. And then you just run your fingers under their skin and they have very soft skin that just comes right off. Yeah, uh -huh. these are big ducks. Like, when you get so much more meat, they'll all like a little teal. Hello, breast. <laughs> Reveal. That's a good looking breast right there. <laughs> wow. Woo, look at that breast though. Oh. We have a lot of ducks to clean and it's late at night, but we don't like wasting meat and we were having a conversation if it'd be worth taking all the leg meat off of these ducks too. And you know what? Heck yeah. I just chopped the leg off. More meat, mo better. Let me show you how we do that. Oh yeah, these legs. Ooh, geez, bro. <laughs> we got ourselves a big old bag of duck breasts. And you know what goes good with duck breasts? Some red wine. Okay, we have a big cook plan tomorrow at our friend's house. But, you know, we're gonna dibble dabble a little bit and we're gonna take one of these duck breasts and do a little thing that I saw Deer Meat for Dinner do when he hunted on the Extreme Outdoors Ranch, which is cream cheese and jalapeno stuffed duck breasts wrapped in bacon on the grill. So I got, we're gonna take one duck breast, cream cheese. I cut a jalapeno into some slices. 
And then we got some bacon. So first you take your duck breast and you can see there's a couple holes in this duck breast that's from the BBs shooting through it. And we're gonna cut a pocket into the breast, just like this. Make a nice pocket, cause this is where we're gonna put the cream cheese and jalapeno into. It's almost like a, like a, um, what are those called? Like a kebab. Yeah, there we go. Look at that, ready for ingredients. We stick a chunk of cream cheese in there, squeeze it in there nice and firmly. Oh, yeah. Like, looks like a clam. Then we're gonna stick some um, jalapeno slices in there too. There we go, three slices, we make it fit, and shazam. Now, I forgot to season this, but I would maybe suggest seasoning the duck breast with some salt. We're gonna lay out our bacon, just wrap it up. It'll keep this whole thing in a nice, tight, bacon-wrapped surprise package. Oh my gosh, look at that, so beautiful. And I'm gonna stick a couple of sticks through it keep it, hold it in place. And this duck breast, bacon wrapped jalapeno cream cheese stuff breast is ready for the uh, grill. Here we go. This is our bacon wrapped duck. You know what? I forgot. I got the oven or the Traeger grill preheated outside and I was just about to go out there and put it on the grill and I was like, I didn't even season this at all but I'm gonna take some of the red, white, and blue outdoors Reaper and just give it a dash, you know? Ooh, ooh. And then we're gonna take some pink Himalayan salt crystals. I'll just Fabio it on there. Fabio. By the way, if you're wondering about this pilot, that is cubed chicken and curried up because we're gonna make a chicken curry right now. Y'all don't care about chicken curry. Mm -hmm. Let's put the duck on the grill. You wanna follow me out here? Oh. Pretty cool fish tank. Don't look at the fish tank. Oh no, why is it? Hold on, Traeger's not hot enough. After a couple Traeger adjustments, we're almost at 375. We're gonna drop our bacon wrap duck on. Quick now, quick now. bacon red duck breast. Stuffed with jalapeno and cream cheese. I'm gonna pull the skewers out. Honestly, probably didn't even need the skewers, but you know, cut it in half. You get a real zoomed in shot of that. How does that look? This looks extremely hot, but I'm gonna go for it. Here we go. Mmm, that is really good. I could probably eat like four or five of these things. <coughs> oh! Yeah, that Reaper came in at the end there. Clutch, that's just what I wanted. Delicious duck. The fattiness of the bacon, the richness of the wine, the creaminess of the cheese. I'd say that was a winner. I'm excited to see what we cook up tomorrow, or uh, day after tomorrow. The next day we took our duck breasts over to our friends Emma and Alex's house where they made a wine and blackberry reduced sauce that we put over the lightly grilled duck breasts. They were still a little raw and pink in the middle and they were perfect. <clears throat> 
I gotta say, this duck hunting's got a little spot in my heart. It's so much fun and the reward is so delicious. I had a great time making this video, but now it's back to fishing. Tons of fishing videos in the works. Hit the like and subscribe button if you wanna see more. Leave a nice comment if you have time and I'll see you guys on the very next video. Cheers. Oh,